In this video, we will use the same warping pattern as we did in video number two. If you need a refresher on warping, check out video number two. Here's the warping pattern. If you don't already have a copy, take a screenshot. Set up your warp according to the pattern. Instead of tying the cross, this time we will insert pencils or dulls through each side. Chopsticks work good too. And then we'll bind them together with rubber bands. These two sticks are called lease sticks. And when laid out, they will show you the exact threading order for your heddle. There are different types of rigid heddles. We will be using the type shown with long slots divided by central holes. Find the center of your heddle and mark it with a small dot. Threading the heddle is easiest if it is standing up. A C-clamp laid on the table makes a great holder. Place the rigid heddle in front of the lease sticks. Divide the warp and pull to the sides of the heddle, one on either side, half on either side. Then find the center warp thread and feed it into the center hole or slot on your heddle. Work out from the center. Be sure to alternate feeding threads through holes and slots. Looking at your pattern, you can see the division of the warp. It doesn't matter which part of the pattern is up or down, just so that it is consistent. Once threading is complete, give a gentle pull to get even tension on all of your threads. Then, place the tension rod, the one that's going to get connected to your belt, in front of the rigid heddles. Divide the warp, that's in front of the heddles now, in half and lay them over the top of the tension rod. Bring the ends under the rod and to the outside of the warp. Don't let them get twisted. Now make a half knot followed by a slip knot. Roll up your warp so it can't get tangled and tie it up while you lash the warp rod. Put a dowel through the far end of the warp and lash it to a stationary object like the back of a chair or a porch railing or a bed frame. It should be at an angle to your seated position. Whether up or down, it doesn't matter. Experiment and see what's most comfortable for you. Connect the front end of the warp to your belt. I should mention that weaving is much more comfortable if your belt is worn low on your hips. Keep the rigid heddle about an arm's length in front of you. Open the first shed by pulling up or pushing down. Notice that you will always pull up or push down on the same side. Choose one and always do it the same for each piece. I lift the heddle when the shuttle thread, the weft, is on the right side. Establish good habits right from the start. The weaving itself is the same as what we did with the string heddles. Beat, pass the shuttle, catch the loop with your pinky, pinch, pull both sides towards you, pull the warp through, and chain sheds. When the woven edge, the fell, gets too far out, you need to shorten the warp. Take another dowel of the same length as your tension rod, the one that's connected to your belt. Disconnect the tension rod and place the second dowel under the tension rod, then roll the weaving up. Reconnect your belt loops to whichever dowel is on top. Two rows from the end, 
take a short scrap of fiber and fold it in half to form a loop. Place it through the current shed so the loop is on the shuttle side. Pass the shuttle, being careful of the loop. Chain sheds. Pass the shuttle again. Cut the weft thread an inch and a half to two inches from the weaving. Put the end through the loop and pull the loop th and thread through the weaving. Cut the warp off of the warp rod, then remove the rigid heddle and tie an overhand knot. Next you want to do a wet finish by soaking the weaving in warm soapy water for about 20 minutes. Rinse it well and then squeeze the water out. Don't wring it. Only squeeze. Then dry flat on a towel. Soon as it's dry, it's ready to be used. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gained some knowledge from it. Have a great day.